What's up everybody, Danny's here and we are back at it again with another video. But before we get into it, make sure to check out all the links in the description below. Now, I've seen this post on Twitter, which says, Nintendo World Championships was released in 1990. 34 years ago, Nintendo released their first Nintendo World Championship on the NES in 1990. Now, Super Mario Bros. 3 was released in 1990 as well. Because possibly Nintendo World Championship overall, it was on the NES. And now they have did it on the Wii U and on the Switch since like 1990 to this year, 34 years ago. Now I've seen Nintendo been doing this a few times like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon, and even Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. But not Zelda though, because it's not an online game. And also Super Smash Brothers. So yeah, now I can see how Nintendo does World Championships. Now I've seen a lot of people are knowing Nintendo World Championship in 1990, which was released in the 19 on the, in the in the NES cartridge, and that's simply weird though, because people may have known this a few years after, and you have to know that a lot of people are knowing a lot about Nintendo and the World Championship, but you guys know that the NES, it's like it is, it may be possibly on the Switch though, but as I can tell about some of the games, the Sega Genesis is not receiving any new content update, but I can see that they don't have time to focus on the retro games that should come to the Nintendo Switch, even with Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and even um, the NES, Super Nintendo, and the N64, they have to focus on one retro game, which is kind of very annoying. Like, why can't we have three games released every month, though? They've done two games so far, but I'm like, bruh, Nintendo should release three or four games a month. Either the NES, the Super Nintendo, the Game Boy, the N64... Sega Genesis or the Game Boy Advance. And I know it's kind of frustrating for people to see when Nintendo does this. And now I've seen Nintendo don't have time to focus on retro games. They have to focus on the newer games, which is what they're working on. Because I think you guys know the Nintendo Switch has sold close to like 140 million units is what I've mentioned. And I've mentioned that the Nintendo DS has sold to the same unit as the Nintendo Switch. That is a ton of people that they can try to tap in to play the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo DS. And you know what? With the Nintendo Switch also has a barrier of entry because you, you have to pay $60 for a Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack or $50 a year for an, an original Nintendo Switch Online service. But I'd rather go with the expansion pack because it lets you play in 64 games. Now, I know Nintendo gatekeeps, like they're forcing you to get a membership to the expansion pack, which is kind of frustrating. And I understand though, why Nintendo is forcing you to buy a $70 game like Tears of the Kingdom. And they've also seen a lot of people getting annoyed with the expansion pack raising up money. Like, Nintendo is one of the richest gaming company of all time, though. And I don't understand why they haven't done, like, releasing the Nintendo Direct yet in May or in June. Now, as much as I know, Nintendo is getting into the works of a lot of games that might come to the Switch. But with Nintendo World Championship in 1990, they may be doing a recap of what they did in the Nintendo World Championship in 1990. But there may be videos of the recap of Nintendo World Championship. I bet there may be a playlist of Nintendo World Championship since 1990. And it was from like 1990 to this year though, possibly. If you made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. Maybe if they see this video and they see how many people remembered the Nintendo World Championship in 1990, they might remember it very far. So make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, 
and subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you all next time.